looking at academic literacy with a particular focus on writing and the challenges that students have in transitioning into university at undergraduate level and also at postgraduate level. I started particularly looking at postgraduates, master's students, because they're a sort of unresearched group of students and academic literacy challenges can quite often be a major challenge for them. Home students as well as international students I would say, but also increasingly undergraduate students as well. And I'm looking at um, writing in within the disciplines wherever I can, so not in a general context but writing in specific academic or professional contexts. I think It'll, in some ways, be perhaps more of the same, but across a broader range of disciplines, across a broader range of subject areas. I'm particularly interested in use of sources, because that's proving to be a major challenge for our students. I think with the wide range of sources that are available on the internet, access to a wide range of people offering to help them with their writing, um, how you manage that how you use the support that's available, proofreaders for example, and how students make the decisions that they need to make about improving their writing and making it more critical as well. So critical writing, use of sources. Well I suppose the impact is the numbers. We're getting a lot of um, Chinese students from across the whole of China, which is wonderful, coming into, into universities across the whole of the rest of the world. It's not just England, America and Australia. They're, they're going everywhere now. And that's good to see because they contribute a lot and they're a great asset to our universities. Um, I think part of the issue for the people teaching them is understanding something of their cultural background. That applies to all students, but when you get a lot from one particular background, then I think it behoves the people teaching them to find out what kind of an education system they've come from. I'm interested in academic literacy, so what are the academic literacy practices that they've been exposed to? What counts for knowledge? What counts for appropriate uses of sources? What counts for um, giving your own opinion, for example, within those academic uh, context that they've come from and I think we need to find out more about that so that we can talk to them about our expectations if they're different from those that they bring with them.